Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. New Windows 10 build to look at. This is a Fall Creators update. This build 16.299, very close to being 16.300, but uh, not yet. Uh, you can see the build string is down here in the bottom right hand corner, which indicates this isn't going to be a production build. This isn't going to be the one that rolls out to general w Windows users. Maybe they're saving 16. Uh, three, 16300 for uh, for that although I suspect they don't exactly do that they just choose the build that's going to be right but uh, October 17th is the release date so it, we've got to be getting that build soon it's on the, currently on the fast ring we've got to get through to the slow ring and then onto release preview before it goes out to general Windows users on October 17th so what's changed in this build well um, as we get to this point in the development cycle there are not any new features because that could potentially introduce bugs and they're trying to get rid of the bugs. So there's just a couple of changes. They fixed an issue where some insiders were having issues updating. Um, af after updating to, to the new build, you wouldn't be able to see your optical drive. They fixed that. They fixed an issue where Microsoft Edge would crash when scrolling embedded PDFs. And they fixed an issue resulting in some insiders seeing um, 0x807 005 errors when trying to get a new build. I haven't seen that. I had no issues getting this build on. Uh, they fixed an issue with automatic file download notifications uh, to block an app from downloading file. It wasn't working in UWP or UWP apps. And they fixed an issue with Windows Defender um, downloading files and the and their download picker. So that's the only changes. I have been playing with this build. Um, today and I haven't seen any major changes in it yet uh, or I haven't seen any changes as you would expect it is all very stable now people sometimes ask me can they put this on their um, production machines I'm not sure that's really the right thing to do just yet release preview is the right one if it's on your production machine but certainly I found no issues with it and uh, it's working very well and you've got all the nice new features in it like the OneDrive files on demand and the people bar and so on so a lot to look forward to when this build comes out if you've not already got it you can find out more on the digitallifestyle.com and on our YouTube channel and on Twitter at Ace Dixon thanks for watching